All right, back for round number four. Uh, we are 2-1. We lost to Death Shadow. Those two flex spots in the sideboard that I mentioned in um, before I started the league, I think I'm going to try and think of something for Death Shadow. I've tried Megas the Moon. I even tried as many as four Megas the Moon when this deck, when that deck was the most popular because a turn one Megas the Moon is good enough to beat them. Um, but it turned out it wasn't quite good enough just because... Uh, they often could get a threat down well before you could get a Magus of the Moon resolved. And once they have a threat, the Magus of the Moon's not good. Alright, we want to discard um, Animate Dead here. You could go for the turn one, but I like the more conservative play. We have another discard here if their hand's like really insane. We have the Looting to get Gristlebrand in the graveyard. And we have the Mana to cast all of these things. Preordain, preordain, sword, sword, snapcaster, mage. I'm going to take all their blue cards, I think. Um, I think I want to therapy their preordains to keep them from cantripping. I think this is the best play. And then we can loot next turn, and then, you know, we'll draw seven, which should be good enough. We'll draw seven um, off our Gristle Brand, and then they'll Swords it. But the seven's usually good enough if, if they don't have anything other than that last Swords in their hand after that. Okay. Hope they don't draw Flusterstorm. Pretty good draw. Now the question is, do we reanimate? Give them a draw step. They would have to draw like Force of Will plus a blue card as their two draw steps, or counter spell. I think drawing seven's better when we have a reanimate to follow up with. We can sack if they don't swords right away. We can sack it, get rid of both of their swords, and have animate dead for later. Looks like they're not going to allow that to happen though. Yep, they saw that. Okay, pretty good. So we'll just pass the turn and drop Gristlebrand back into the graveyard. Uh, probably loot next turn so we don't get swords again. Although just drawing another seven's fine. We have another Entomb. I will loot though. I think we don't need any more lands or looting. I'll keep the looting though, just in case they somehow answer all of this stuff. We'll do this one because of well, no Snapcaster. Uh, we can take their Snapcaster and flashback Dark Ritual and get their Swords to Pile Shares. That seems pretty good. And then they'll get back. Well, can't really, can't really flash back and not get swords though. Can't flash back the uh, therapy really. But that's okay, we have another Entomb here. Could flash back now, but then they just respond. Let's 
smack it now. Get that swords. Okay. So I did that, because then if they swords this in response, that's fine. It won't be in their graveyard for the next exhume, which we will cast. We can go... Whatever their last cards are, we can therapy, we can uh, ritual, or we can just cast exhume. Uh, and then we have Gristlebrand. And then we have loot for follow-up. If they deal with that, we have like a looting, dark ritual, another entomb for possibly a looting or like an Ashen Rider or something like that. Assuming they answer the Gristlebrand, they'd have to draw the another snap or another swords or a terminus off the top because we would find the answer. We'd be able to answer whatever their hand is now with this in the Unmask. Okay, so we sideboard the same as we did against Miracles earlier, or at least close to the same. Can't always remember exactly how I do things. Probably going to be about the same. That's about right. It's an argument for things like wear tear, but... Mm. Yeah. yeah, these control matchups are the 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 faster their clock is, the harder it is. So like if they dirtle a lot, it's not as hard. Death shadow. They've got a seriously fast clock, and they have just as many control pieces as Miracles does. Uh, Miracles' best best uh, cards against you are Containment Priest and Counterbalance. Counterbalance is beatable. Containment Priest is not. But they're not as fast at killing you and turning off your reanimates as Death Shadow and Gurmag Angler are. So i got to think of something. I mean, I've been trying. I can't find... I haven't been able to find anything that's just really good against Death Shadow. The Crypt Breaker was okay, but you just died to Delver of Secrets and or two Crypt. I mean, or two uh, Death Shadows. You can't make tokens fast enough to deal with two Death Shadows or to race. Um, Magus very bad once they land a creature. Especially a black creature. I've thought about Swords of Pashas, but I think it'll just get countered. I don't think just like killing a creature and maybe even two is quite good enough. Okay, well, this hand's, you know, potentially okay. Like, turn one, discard Gristlebrand, turn two, animate, turn three, exhume, but it's pretty weak to like their good cards, so I don't think I'm going to keep it. Their good cards being. Containment Priest and Surgical Extraction. I want Discard. You really want Discard. Well, this hand does not have Discard, but it has a Looting. It's got, you know, half the combo. Oh, now it's got a Gristlebrand. Um, yeah, no Discard, though. Just start with the Looting. It'll probably be count or Flustered. Usually if they don't do anything on turn one, it means they're going to Fluster. But then if we draw a land, we can Dark Ritual. Huh. Um, he's not doing anything, which tells me he's either got Surgical Extraction or Containment Freeze, but I don't think I can... Um, actually, I can probably wait a turn to discard the Gristlebrand. Just get rid of this Reanimate. Yeah, because I think he probably has a Surgical Extraction based on what I've seen so far, which is a very quick resolution of Faithless Looting and him doing nothing. Priest we can't beat anyway, so I'm not going to play around that. We can't. And that's exactly why we waited a turn.
Okay, so we have the surgical as I suspected. Now let's see what else he's got. Hopefully nothing else. If he has nothing else, well, we can hit a land and we'll win. If he has a Snapcaster Mage, well, we're going to have to take that. Or he might flash it in in response and get rid of our... Um, oh, well, he missed on the thing. Oh, he has nothing else. We could just take that, but we're not going to because it's not even very good. But he just, he missed it. Uh, we'll take the Force of Will. And we're going to hit a land here. No. No land. All right, hope he doesn't draw a Force of Will. I mean, a Fluster Storm or Snapcaster Mage. Uh, I think Entomb is probably better in case he does Surgical. Although Therapy will let us see and or get rid of his Terminus. I think we're going to hope to dodge. Nah, we got to keep that Entomb. We got to keep the Entomb. No cantrip, please. Please just draw a land. Pass. No Vendillion click. No Fluster Storm. Fluster would hit the Dark Patrol. Just gives us a little bit of breathing room. We can entomb if he drew another surgical or snap. Ugh, unbelievable. Probably won't forget that one. <laughs> That's annoying. That is annoying. So we're going to take Gideon and we're going to entomb. I don't think a uh, tight spot's going to be good enough. Really unfortunate that he got that off the top there, and we didn't hit a land. And we passed and hope to hit a land. He did remember the Gristle Brand, right? He got all of our Gristle Brands. How sad. Land? Yeah, that's almost a land. Put this on white and hope he doesn't draw Jace. No. You could choose blue because he, we, well, now I think you just got to pick white and hope he doesn't draw Jace. He's got Gideons too, so who knows how many Jaces he has. Uh-oh. Yeah. Never lucky. Oh boy. You know, we could have got... Yeah, no. I was going to say we could have got Archetype, but then he's got the Terminus in his hand. Yeah, that that was that was unfortunate. I I felt like I played pretty well, and my opponent missed with their first surgical, and managed to blindly hit the second one. 
the one turn. They had that one turn. I mean, I guess they also had Flusterstorm as a draw, like re uh, uh, Flusterstorm or Counterspell. They didn't have a blue card for Force of Will, so it had to be one of those two. Snapcaster Mage, Flusterstorm. But Flusterstorm's not good if we draw a land. So basically, Snapcaster Mage, Surgical, and Counterspell. So they had a few outs there, but not many. And we also just needed a land the turn before to win. Oh my goodness. And we're going to go out like this. Just gonna not play the land because I don't even have a second one. It's not what we're looking for. Well, they got all the graveyard hate, so we lost this round. That's too bad. All right, we'll be back for round number five. 